Hydralazine is not only associated with drug-induced lupus, it is one of the more common causes of drug-induced anca vasculitis. Unlike the hydralazine-associated drug-induced lupus, renal involvement is common in the anca vasculitis, 80 to 90%. Typically isolated renal involvement, pulmonary involvement, less common. It is easy to miss or overlook because the patients have typically been on hydralazine for a prolonged period of time, average more than four and a half years. They typically are on high doses, 50 milligrams three times a day or higher. Here's the things to look for. In addition to acute kidney injury with an active urine sediment, you will find very high p anca myeloperoxidase titers, and multiple abnormal autoantibodies, including positive ANA, positive antihistone, positive double-stranded DNA in some cases, and hypocomplementemia. The renal involvement involves a full necrotizing crescentic palsy immune glomerulonephritis and often requires treatment with immunosuppression.